I want to paint a picture for you, but an actual picture that is actually steeped in truth and reality. There's a lot of things that Hollywood or movies or just things you read in books that portray our savior of some blonde hair, blue eyed guy or a guy who really looks good, um, who has piercing eyes and all that stuff. And I get what they're trying to do, but that's not really truth. The truth of the matter is, is Jesus was Jew. The truth of the matter is, Jesus was a Middle Eastern man. He wasn't anything to be looked at or to be admired at, as Isaiah says. He was a standard carpenter, just a regular guy. Um, and I don't like how society paints him as the things I said, which is trying to get the attraction of your eye or trying to do that. I think it's more effective that a regular guy could captivate so many people because he's the savior. That's how our God is. He takes the failures, the people that aren't actually what you think, and makes them into something great. So I'm going to read a verse to you that shows you who Jesus is when he comes back in Revelation. And this is not the verses you usually hear. These are not the verses that you usually find. And these are not the verses that, quite frankly, are usually preached. Because the gospel has been turned into happy feelings and your life is easy. But here it is. It's Revelation 19, 11. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice, he judges and makes war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one but himself knows. He is dressed in a robe, dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies were following him, riding on white horses, and dressed in fine linens, white and clean. Out of his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He rules them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of the God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Is that sound like the Savior that you thought?